We can now use the Infinity Gauntlet to reset the cooldown for our Infinity Stone, allowing us to use the Triumph of another stone. Use all six stones together. Now this is pretty spicy, boys. Hey, I am Feedback Gaming, and this is more Stellaris. What is Stellaris, you ask? It is Europa Universalis in space. Instead of colonizing the new world, you're going to be colonizing space. And of course, you're not going to be the only one doing that. What about the other European powers trying to get a slice of the pie? Our objective today is galactic colonization. New game. So we're going to play as the Blorg, which is a giant piece of space fungus. Or from my perspective, a massive space turd. We are repugnant, which goes without saying, we're literally shit. We are solitary, because I mean, shit doesn't move. We're venerable, but we will last a very long time until we turn into grey poo. And finally, we are nomadic, which doesn't that contradict solitary? We like to move around and also stay in the same place. Huh. We really like other aliens. Big fat xenophiles. We also have a Nelson hat and a door. And we are led by a military junta, which is an oligarchy. Wonderful. Let's edit this and change one little thing. And that is the origin. If we scroll down a little bit, what do we have here? Infinity stones? So right now, we are literally sh How do we become not poo? Well, that is with the power of the infinity stone. We have the space stone, the mind stone, soul stone. You get the drift. You've, you've watched the movies. And the most powerful stone, in my humble opinion, is the soul stone. So we can start the game with the soul stone. All right, let's go. Next, 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 next. Done. We'll go for a small galaxy. And the rest will go with the defaults. Let's go. And here we are. In the eons since the first primitive Blorg communities took shape in the dense jungles of Blorg, our civilization has spread and prospered. Technological process has been swift, but as our members grew, the civilization population became increasingly restless. With our world on the blink of anarchy, the military stepped in to restore the rule of law. The new era was established to safeguard our nation from all threats, both external and internal. Blah, blah, blah. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Begin. And here we go. This is Blorg. The capital of the Blorg. Which will be ruled and possibly by Blorg. And this is the galaxy. Beautiful. I wonder if we're alone. I wonder if we have friends. I don't know. We're going to have to find out. And here we go. The relic activation available. A relic, you say? What is this? The soul stone. This gives you the effects of extra monthly unity, minus 50% to leader upkeep. And when you activate the stone, you will be given this pop-up box. Ah. And you will be given a godlike governor, scientist, or an admiral, or a general. And we're going to go with the scientist. To begin with, we have the options between these poo scientists, literally poo, skill one, or we have this boyo. Soul born of learning, skill 10 of five. Impressive. Soulborn. He is a mortal. His age, 4,295. You know, just a little bit older than the other guys, you know. And this boyo is going to do just a little bit of surveying. You know, here and here and here for now. And we'll focus more and more and more on research to begin with. A little bit of mining. Voila. And here we go. <gasps> a dig site has been found. There's a potential that we could find another infinity stone. I wonder what that could lead on to. Hmm. And we'll survey in the other direction as well. To boldly go where no turd has gone before. Another science ship. And of course, another construction ship. It appears that the soul stone could do more than just manipulate souls. After spending much time with the stone, Archon Ashley Easterbrook, the least poo sounding name ever, has recently been displaying abilities that were suspected to be psionic in nature. After undergoing a thrill ESP test, they has been identified as a class psionic 4 talent. A new planet. Sindar 2 colonize it. The cooldown of the soul stone has ended and we can deploy it again, but it will cost us 100 influence and that's something that we need right now. So we'll probably hold off on that for a little while. Technological ascendancy, more tech. Let's invest into a little bit of an education campaign and a little bit of a recycling campaign too. Greetings to shellfish mega corporation. We wish for nothing but to be friends. Ashley is quite a president. Research. Very spicy. Improve relations. Poo and shellfish Survey will live complete. together in harmony. Offer commercial pact. Handshake sure. Protocols. Research agreement. Sure. Defensive pact. Yeah, sure. Migration treaty. I agree. Greetings to the cat people. Ah, the clam people. I wish us to be friends. Ah, the frog people. I wish for nothing but to be friends. Policy change. Economic policy. Militarized economy. Time for allies to sacrifice for consumer goods. It's a uh, really hard life being a space turd. Eventually you have to turn to some uh, other substances to keep yourself going. This governor parties hard. 
Another colony. Ah! We have met Groot, the tree people. We wish for nothing but to be friends. Oof. They're a little bit strong. Just a little bit. Useless. Hey, Groot! You'd like this to sacrifice one of our population? Sure, dude. Why not? Maxed out on minerals. Mass cell. A psionic substance abuser. I think that gives away what substance is using. Insulting the envoy. How rude. A mighty fleet of 30 corvettes. Uh, let's hunt some uh, space amoebas. Making some progress. Looking pretty good. We can now use the soul stone again. Boom. We need another scientist. Soulborn of learning. Defeat the flying space sperm. Pew, pew, pew. F. We need more unity because we need to activate our soul stone more and more and more. So in this case, we're going to go for one vision. Supremacy. Go. Activate the soul stone again. We need another scientist. Another one. But this time, we're going to go for a better job. The best job. In this case, we'll replace you with our awesome Soulborn. I really wish they had names, but no, they're not. They're all clones of each other. Hey, this is something that should trigger you. Look at that. One unsurveyed system in the middle. That's right. We even get Bordegore in space. We have the galactic community. Let's uh, assign all our envoys right in there. And let's see what shenanigans we can get up to. And another planet has been found. Let's go for this boyo. Another one. Mega Corporation. Ruthless capitalists, and they're also fanatic spiritualists. Capitalism? Spirituality? What is this? Ah, oh, Groot has returned to give us the gift of resources. Nice. Pew, 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 pew. The Soulstone cooldown is over. Again, another scientist. Replace you with you. Perfect. Time for ideas. Trade policy. Marketplace of ideas. Instead of it giving us energy credits, it will give 0.25 for each trade value of unity. It allows us to get our traditions a lot quicker. Good investment for the long term. Research subsidies and nutritional plentitude. Boom. Again, the soul stone has given us another scientist. Immortal. Ten skill researchers. I like it. Ah, historical accurate game, by the way. Flying space dragons. Following our failure to challenge the shard dragon that emerged in the plov, it has turned on our colony in the system, masquerading the colonists with great slaughter. Poop Prime has been destroyed. Nice. I'm not gonna lie, guys, but every time I dig one of these archaeological sites, I feel like I always find bad things. I feel like they're really not worth the effort. Hmm, prove me wrong in the comments. The drones were eliminated a long time ago, but I forgot to destroy their main base. Okay, take that out now. Use the stone, and we're gonna gain a governor. And it will be the governor of our capital region. And conveniently, he's 8,000 years old. Wow, so much experience. And he's also an architectural interest. Interest? Just interested? Not an expert? Okay, he'll do. All right, this is the state of the empire right now. The only neighbor we've got nearby is this one that is, uh, I guess, ripe for the pickings, I guess. We've got the dragon problem in the north. And uh, the big boy to our west. Which, funnily enough, isn't that strong. Maybe slightly overextended. Let's kick this up a notch. Find the Infinity Stones. So here we go. All the stones are owned by different empires. There's the Soul Stone. That's the one I've got. So the Power Stone is owned by the Zygmot Corporation. And these guys. And they also have the Space Stone here too. These guys have the Time Stone. These guys here have the Reality Stone. That's really frustrating. None of the nations I border have stones. Alternatively though, I could trade for them. With a ridiculous amount of 20,000 energy, 500 influence. Incredibly expensive. Okay, this is the plan. What I'm going to try and do is get a federation and alliance with this guy. And the objective is going to be is to see if he can give me the stone to trade. The guys to my south, though, that looks like conquest. All right, envoys, go to you. Cat people, you have one of our stones. We need it, boyo. Soul stone. Again, we need an admiral. And we get this boyo. Cautious. Soulborn, and some pretty awesome stats. Right, so these two are already in a faction, so all I need to do is get relations up with both of them. Um, so, ask for association status, yes. And also a research agreement. Clan people to my south. I'm sorry, buddy, but uh, I need to get fat, and you are going to feed me. Make claims. Initial claims is going to be the close-by systems, and then we'll push out from there. Okay, let's modify and let's stack that engineering. All right, I think we're ready. They've got superior tech than us. So the objective initially is to take out these two systems that border ours. These two will already be cut off, so we'll grab those as well. And then when we capture this one here, that means this planet here will be completely taken off because these systems are not joined. 
So that means the objective of this war will be to consolidate all of the Western Front. And if we're really lucky, we might be able to grab this planet as well. But that's only if we're really lucky. Hey, I need a general. All right, we've got max influence. Let's uh, spend it. Clan people, all of the West is mine. All right, let's get terraforming. Terraform, tropical world. Tropical world, and a tropical world. Galactic force projection. And that has saved us loads of energy because we were way over our limit. All right, I modified my ships. Going for the primary weapons I've got the most tech into for my destroyers and my cruisers. As it stands right now, I'm just going to upgrade, and then we are good to go. All right, let's do this. Let's push. We want to set their fleet practically immediately. Secondary fleet will capture these systems, and the main fleet will push the front before they gather up. Zap! That one's claimed, and maybe we can engage this fleet. I don't know. It looks like he's running away. Yeah, they're gathering all their forces to form a big fat ball. All right, we've engaged one of their smaller fleets. We should be able to wipe them out. Easy. All right, recaptured that. Another fleet here. Can we intercept this one too? This is going to be so much easier if we can pick them up one at a time. Now we can flip around to here and start bombarding this planet. But the problem is then our eastern flank is vulnerable. We've not got a good secondary fleet to hold out. But they're still showing equivalent and they've got a decent side. I think what I'm going to do actually is try and push this planet here. If we can secure the eastern flank, then we will be able to secure the western flank. Right, I'm going to push the transports forward now. You guys go here, and our main fleet can push in and start bombarding this wee planet. Zap, and zap, and then we can start to bombard. And this planet seems to have no army. Okay, just, just land on it then. Go. Right, the west is secure now. All this area is mine, and we pushed eastwards, and for the most part, they've just got these four planets. I think we could probably take them in one war too. Let's, let's just do it. Let's make some more claims. So here we go, their capital is here, and the vast majority of their army is here too. 13,000 fleet power. A bit confusing though, why have they chose to put the entirety of their fleet here and not move it? That's really weird. Alright, let's go back to base, repair up, and then we can re-engage them again. Alright, we've repaired up, let's engage again. Here we go, we're gonna engage them. We've got our third man here. Uh, he is level 6, so he gets extra 18 ship fire rate. We've got aggressive, so extra 5% fire rate. Oh, we've got psychic too, which gives them extra weapons damage. And you know what? For the extra cherry on top, to go a step a little bit further, to go one step beyond, spend some of our rocks to get volatile ammunition, which gains extra kinetic damage. Yeah, let's go all the way. Do all of the damage. Will he engage me or will he back up? Oh, he's standing his ground. Annihilated. Absolutely annihilated. All right, we've not got all left. 99%. And we're going to have to forcefully peace out. So in this case, I'm just going to land immediately and see if we can uh, grab it. Oh, yeah. Got him. Last one. There's a big navy here. The balls to it. Let's just go it. We've got all the way now. Go for the capital first. And they've got so many armies on the capital. Okay, the habitats don't actually have any troops. So I'm just going to land on them all. All right, they've got four armies left. And we have six. So let's do it. I think this is their capital. Yes, it is. And with 200 days left, we've taken it. Yay. All right, we're done. Achieve war goals. I was hoping to completely cripple them, but I wasn't quick enough to take the, some of their planets. But I'm pretty happy with that. Now we've split them into three. All of their population now is in this area. So if we go for another war, we're just going to wipe them out from here. Perfect. An invitation to a federation. Now, this is purely strategic. We want these guys... Maybe our good buddies. And we look really closely now. There we go. A Federation of the North. They are pretty strong. And now what we need to do is boost relations with you. Because you have one of the stones. And once we get high enough relations, we'll be able to ask to purchase the stone from them. And then the remaining four stones are two with you and two with you. And I think you, for the most part, are pretty weak. Yeah, weaker. Put it that way. Oh no. So it looks like the Tarithians... And the Zygmox went to war over a stone because the Zygmox now have three stones. Now there are only three empires that have stones. Three on the Zygmox, these boys. Two for the Varelfibs here. And one for me, the Blorg. So, we need to go to war for the stones. Okay, just spotted that the Southern Empires are also in a faction as well. So it is going to be the North versus the South. All right, this is the plan. The Varel Vivs have control of this wormhole here. So can jump... I assume from here to here. So we need to secure this first of all. Then we can push forward southwards here, start taking land, and therefore we can seize them. Uh, the problem is, though, is we can't seize all the stones in one war. We can only seize one per war. So we've practically got five wars coming up. Let's not waste any time. Let's go. Declare war. Let us seize 
the Power Stone. Go. War, the Federation has agreed, and the whole of the galaxy now is at war with each other. This is World War Galaxy, at last. First step, let's knock out this starbase here. All right, we've got the entire the fleet now, and you to march it through practically half of the galaxy to get back to here. Then we can start pushing the front line. Probably the most underwhelming ascension perk. We're going to go for Imperial Prerogative. Zap, zap, zap. Ooh, we seem to have a slight advantage. But we're taking some massive losses, though. We need another Admiral. Let's use the Soul Stone. And he is a trickster. Cool. 50,000 fleet power. Let's take the fight to them now. Go. Wow, this is really good luck. The Zygmok Corporation is embroiled in the Civil War, pitting the organic Zygmok government against the intelligence that metastasize in their systems, known as the Synthoid Assimilators. Let's see how this plays out. The corporation now has uh, chicken pox. All right, we've made some good progress. We pushed all the way down, captured about oof, probably half a dozen planets. And now we're right outside their capital. Let's do this. This is the capital planet. Land. Easy. All right, we've made some good gains here. We've occupied all the northern portion, and they're still having to deal with the civil war, so they're all messed up. So this has been pretty easy. Right, achieve war goals. Boom! We have seized the Power Stone. It belongs to us now. Sweet, sweet. Now we also secure the wormhole to the north and the east as well, so all our frontiers are covered, and we have new frontiers to the south to push into these new enemies, which we definitely will be, because we need to... Uh, Get more stones. Now that we have collected multiple infinity stones, our scientists have come up with a method of using them together. Strongest allies and conductors, they have constructed an infinity gauntlet capable of using multiple stones in conjunction with each other. This is only the beginning. So now we have the power stone, uses 100 influence to activate. We gain 20% extra monthly energy credits whenever we're in possession of it. And when we activate it, our ships do 40% extra damage and our armies do 50% more damage. Wow. And we have the Infinity Glantlet as well. We can't use it until we have six Infinity Stones. Uh, but whilst we've got it in our possession, we gain plus one monthly influence. Nice. We're making some progress now. Next up, Tarithians. And the way we're going to declare on them is we're going to have to declare war on our old enemies, you boys. So I believe they're in a defensive pact. Yes, they are. These were once the clan people, and now they are the, uh, now they are the bird people. Claim their capital and all their main systems. And we pretty much, I believe, could annex them in one war. We'll see. Robot Rebellion is over. Looks like the Zigzogs won. It looks like they've lost almost like the southwestern part of their empire. So they're in a bad way right now. And also this empire here is shattered into two. This boyo is the one that's got all the stones though. So we can attack him through one of these wormholes in the north. Day two. Some time has passed, and many more boring wars have been declared and later won. And the only other thing you need to know was these wars were very fruitful. Here we go, boys. Infinity Stones. We have gained the Time Stone, which gives research boost and also gives mega construction build speed. We also have the Reality Stone, which gives extra minerals and reduced terraforming costs. We have the Mind Stone, which gives extra influence, trust growth, trust cap, extra plus five envoys. Insane. And when activated, you gain diplomatic weight. And the Space Stone, which gives speed, evasion, hyper jump chance, charge time. And if you activate, it reduces the jump time by 100%. 90% plus a 10%. Wow. Jump drives strong. And of course, we have the Infinity Gauntlet. Hmm. What can we do with this? Hmm. We can now use the Infinity Gauntlet to reset the cooldown for our Infinity Stone, allowing us to use the triumph of another stone. Use all six stones together. Now this is pretty spicy, boys. What would you like to do with the ultimate power of the Infinity Stones? Now, I want you to experience this mod. The link to this mod is in the description below. Give it a shot, you will not regret it. So I don't want to spoil what some of the awesome things you can do with the Infinity Gauntlet and all the stones. I want you to experience that yourself. Now some of these you can probably guess what they do. You've got the snap. Hmm. If you watch the movie, you might know what that does. And then destroy the stone. Hmm. If you watch the movie, you might know what that does. We are going to go for destroy enemies. All life in empires at war with us will be annihilated. In times of war, one must do whatever they can to achieve victory. While the rest of the galaxy may frown on us after what we have done, we do what we must do to survive. Our Archon has used the Infinity Gauntlet to destroy our enemies. With a snap of our fingers, the populations of their world turn to ash. The power of all six stones proved too much for the Archon, and it has greatly injured her. The below commonality 
will not fall today. Boom. And the game pauses and is frozen in suspense. The blow commonality used the Infinity Gauntlet to wipe their enemies from existence. Whether or not the annihilation was warranted, it is clear that there will be repercussions of what has transpired. We did what we had to. And we resume the game. And everyone we were at war with has disappeared. The galaxy right now is looking very, very bare. And guys, there's only one thing left to do. Relics, Infinity Gauntlet, use all the six stones together, destroy the stones. The Infinity Stones are proved to be bright on the galaxy, and someone has to do something about them and their destructive power. Our Archon has used the Infinity Gauntlet to destroy all the Infinity Stones. The power required to destroy the stones has greatly injured the Archon, but the task was completed. The stones are no more. I used the stones to destroy the stones. Boop. And now they are gone forever. And unfortunately, our leader has actually died. Damn. F in the comments. Guys, did you enjoy this mod? The link is in the description below. Install it. Give it a play. It is insanely fun. Stellaris, but with the Marvel Universe twist on things. Hey, and do you want more Stellaris? Let me know in the comments below. Give us a like. And don't forget, if you want more mod playthroughs or some more Stellaris, give us a subscribe and that lets me know. Guys, hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you guys next time. See you later. Bye. Currently, guys, ad revenue has tanked. The lockdown has totally frozen the YouTube economy. If you want to help me out, the best thing you can do in these dire times is become a patron. The link is in the description below. Thank you, boys and girls. Bye-bye.